How's it going everybody? Matthew Blaster here with you with another awesome in-out tennis device test. Today I am going to be testing the July 7th firmware. So I already have it up and running. You'll see these are the conditions. It's about 7 o'clock. So we got some good sun. We're out here on the east coast. So we do have some pretty bad lines from the shadows and stuff. But we'll we'll see how it goes. But anyway, um, I have it turned on. I go, I hit the line call. I've already done the calibration, but I'm going to do it again because um, there's some shadows. And you'll hear there's, it's fine in the lines. See what it says? Okay, so it's still saying the top, the right court, it's giving about, it's giving a five star, so it has it pretty well. And then the left side is saying it's only two stars. So the shadows are definitely screwing some stuff up, but it's nice, it gives you that, that choice. So we're going to go to line calling. And you'll see that it's ready to go. And so if I go back to the home uh, and you go to the settings, these are where you can change a lot of the different scenarios of what you're doing. You have practice single, um, you have match single, which is a new setting there, uh, match double, which you need two cameras for. You can do training for just the serving. And then you can actually do custom zones, which is pretty cool too. Now that's a new thing. The thing that's really nice now is the signal, so you can say every time it's in to flash. I personally only like, um, you can do a close call too for the custom, so the custom lets you actually adjust exactly what to do. So I can have it just flash if it's a close call, and then flash red and, and make sounds if it's out, and this is it's what it's going to do. And if it's in, it just flashes, you see. So And that's, a, that's if it's a close call, but we'll just leave it like that. And we'll go back and go back. And then we'll go back to the line calls. Now it should still keep my calibration there, so we can just go straight to the line calling. And now we should be good. So now we're gonna do a little bit of testing and we'll, we'll see, see how it goes. All right. All right, I'm gonna test it. Back up. That's pretty off. <laughs> because it was out. Oh, mine was way up. So that was in? That's in. So our beef is if it's out. I know. But that beef was way in. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was like right here when it landed. No, I was thinking of the wrong one. Oh, right. She was looking at right here, right? Right here. Right here. Look, it's down. Really? Yeah. I'll get the camera. Alright. Alright, so here's the cool thing. So if it does actually get that it's out, it does actually show a replay on the device. So you see we had my brother didn't understand that it was it was that ball that it was calling out the black one, and you can go back and pick the next the last ten balls. It actually tells you how fast it was going too. That's a new feature. And then if you uh, if you tap the screen, it'll actually show the uh, the ball landing out. I know the shadow's kind of bad. Sorry, but see it's clearly landing out. So I can be like, Nah, you're just you're just blind. And we have a zoom now. It looks like you can actually pick how much to zoom, which is cool. You can look at the little speck. Clearly out. So, that's cool. I, I still like that feature. I think it's a cool thing. I like the added the miles per hour. That's nice. So, alright. Back to more. I need my tennis racket. Yeah. Anyway, alright, go ahead and hit it over. What the F? Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, if it's coming up that way, I don't have time to react. <laughs> 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 You're so bad at calling. 
Not that one. You got it, Jono! Ah! That was. Uh, 76 miles an hour. Ooh, it's kind of cool. What? Challenge. Playing that, that shot. If you go click on it, it shows how freaking close it was. But it is cool, it shows how fast it was. 77 mile per hour serve. Go me. No! What? Da -da. what? Da -da -da -da. Hit just tap it? Yeah, so like it shows, so it shows where that shot was. So here you can just keep looking through the GoPro, how about that? Don't get that close, it's gonna blur out. But there it shows that shot. And then you can report also if it was inaccurate and say, no, that was wrong. Um, and we go back and then we can go back again the last uh, couple shots. So like that serve and that serve, <coughs> that serve was in. We can click on that and see, see that beauty there you go. right there. 79 miles per hour serve apparently. <laughs> okay. I think so. You think so? <clears throat> I don't think so. Yeah, see, it still didn't even catch that one. So what I do, what I do for that situation, that's when I go back to the home, to the settings, and to the signal. I'll change this to close call. So that way, if it's close, I should still be getting a beep. I'll go back to the line calls. <clears throat> Court's still there. All right, now we're back in business. I got to try more. <laughs> Close call. <laughs> <laughs>
It's a close call. Yeah. yeah. So that's cool. 73 miles an hour. Man, I suck. But anyway. <clears throat> so thanks for watching. Hopefully it was informative. I will show some of the stats in a minute when I get back. Um, cause there's actually ways to, um, download them as like CSV files and the way that you see them on the cloud app that's been developed for the device. So there's a lot of cool things, but yeah, definitely is irritating when it's not catching the ball at all, whether it's in or out. Sometimes it's just like not ready to process or something. So, um, battery is definitely an issue. Uh, mine actually has a hard time staying in sometimes and it actually just disconnects itself if like a ball hits the net cord or something and kind of shakes it a little bit. So that's been an issue I've, have, I've been having. Um, but otherwise it's still a lot of fun. It's still good for training. It's really cool just to look at the stats and stuff, you know. And you can see like exactly what I've been looking at and kind of, you know, see I've been playing for 23 minutes just serving. That one was 73 miles an hour. That one was 78. That one was 73, 83. So it's nice if, uh, if those stats are actually accurate. The recording is cool too, just to see yourself play, uh, especially two sides if you're playing a buddy or something like that. Um, but anyway, um, so far I've definitely seen some improvements in this new firmware update for the July uh, one, but uh, 2018, right? I think I've been saying the wrong year. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll get back to you guys with some more stuff.